How's it going folks today? I'm finally with my new camera. It's a little weird, but I'm still trying to work it out. We are here at War's 50th anniversary concert on Venice Beach. Okay, so a couple of days ago, this little flyer popped up on Instagram saying that War is going to celebrate their 50th anniversary on Venice Beach on the 30th of October. And I figured since I'm always here anyway, why not check it out? You know what I'm saying? Free concert. It's War. I like some of their music. I didn't really grow up on them, but I know some of their songs and I figured, hey, let's check it out and we could probably make a really cool vlog about it. But you know what else was here? A car show. So I figured I should just split the videos in half. I'll do this one strictly about the car shows, show you all the different cars that are there. And then in my second video, I will show you everything else that happened that day, especially when War was performing. So without further ado, let's start this video. Enjoy the car show. And if you're looking for the other video, it will be on my other channel. I will link it below in the descriptions. Enjoy. I don't know if you know this, if you know, but they sing the song Lowrider. And we're about to check out these cars. Now, please be patient and bear with me as I'm not very well versed in car language or do I know anything about these cars. So, uh, yeah, as I try to explain to you what they are. This is a 1947 Chevy Thriftmaster pickup. Do not know why they call it the Thriftmaster. If you guys know, please leave it in the comments below. This right here is a 1964 Chevy Impala SS. I don't know what the SS stands for. Maybe I should have done more research. That's what it is. As you can see, it has a hydraulic system. It has the very small, tiny tires with the cool rims. This is also a, what year is this one? This one is a 1960 Chevy Impala convertible. Convertible, because it's a drop top, and that's what a convertible is. All right. The back looks pretty cool too. I like the way it's, it looks like two little wings on the side. Classics. This one's a beauty. Yeah, I love this one. Right here we have a 1957 Chevy Bel Air convertible. I do not know why they call it Bel Air. Again, let me know in the comments below. This is a 1959 Chevy Impala as well. This one also looks like the Bel Air a little bit. It probably is. Yes, it is. It's Bel Air. Uh, what year? Let's see here. This is a 19, I want to say 19, maybe. Uh, 1957 Chevy Bel Air. It's a two door hard top. Two door hard top. I don't know what no post means or not. I think my, yeah, my dad had this car. This is a 1987 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Cutlass. Still looking clean. Inside looks clean. And right here we have a 1985 Nissan pickup base deluxe sport. As you can see, it's been souped up because it wasn't like that in 1985. And right here we have a 1986 Chevy Astro van. That's, that's a weird name, but got some cool rims. Okay. Now this, yeah, this is super souped up. We have a 1986 Mazda pickup base LXSE. I do not know what all that means, but yes, <laughs> it's been souped up, changed the inside, the interior, everything. Look at this. This is, this is amazing. Damn. And this one. Yeah. I, you know what? I call this one the mystery car because I searched it, looked for it, could not find it. Uh, hint on hint, even the license plate, I, could, I couldn't tell who it's for. Like I looked for it, but the inside just looks incredible. Everything is just looks like it's custom. I don't even think they just ride this around. This is the mystery car. It just probably just sits there and looks cool all day. For sure. Jeez, look at that. What about when it rains? What happens? This right here is a 1995 Nissan pickup. As you can see, it's been souped up as well. Yeah, I think it's just for show. And I don't think people really ride around in that. Hmm. This is a 1958 Chevy Apache. I, I do not know. Maybe it's Native American. I don't know. But Apache, that's what I think of when I hear that name. And we got the two dolls in the back. Yeah, that's pretty scary. I, I wouldn't want to meet the owner if that's what you put back there. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is a 1950 Chevy Deluxe. Now these cars, if you get in an accident with them, you're probably messing up the other car because your car looks like it's be pretty sturdy. This is a 1945 Chevy sedan. Again, the inside's looking clean, super nice. This is when they had like the little sun visors. 
And over here we have a 1948 Chevy Fleetline two-door aero sedan. Try saying that one three times fast. Anyway, they all looking clean, they're all looking beautiful. This one right here is a 1961 Chevy Impala SS convertible. It looks like some of the cars from the front are finding themselves right here in the back as well. Right now we have a 1957 Chevy Bel Air four door hard top. A hard top with the remote control because they got updated stereo. And right here we have a 1953 Chevy Bel Air convertible. Convertible. And coming right on over right next to that car, we have a 1969 Chevy Impala SS427 convertible. I don't know what the 427 mean, but it's a convertible. And right here we have a 1948 Chevy Fleetline two-door aero sedan. They're getting repetitive because all the cars are starting to look the same, but they're still looking good. And right here we have a 1948 Chevy convertible Fleetmaster two-door. This one is the Fleetmaster. And this beauty right here is a 1951 Pontiac Chieftain Deluxe Convertible. And yes, it is a beauty. I mean, all the other cars look good too, but this one's special because it's got the little homie in the back and he's just chilling. Yeah, he's in a gang. I don't know which one, but he's in a gang for sure. <laughs> No, he's not. He's just a puppet. This one looks nice. I did not know Pontiac made those. Of course, if I knew uh, anything about cars, I probably would have known. But yeah, this one's this one's cool. I like this one. It looks kind of like the other ones, but I like this one because it's not one of those Chevys. It's like just a Pontiac. Pontiac. And right here we have a 1964 Chevy Impala SS convertible. Again, like the ones in the front towards the beginning of the video. This one's a 1964 Impala SS. This one right here is a 1962 Impala SS two door. Right here. This looks like one of the Bel Airs. Oh, yep, it's one of the Bel Airs. What year is this one? This one is a 1957 Chevy Bel Air convertible. All these cars, I'm I'm starting to get the 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 hang of it. I'm starting to understand like the models and the differences and the names and the years that they came out. So this, this is good. Now, this one right here, this one's my favorite one of all of them. I know it looks a bit rusted. This is a 1950 Ford F1. It looks a bit rusted, but there's, there's so much detail that goes into this. I'll go into it in my next video. Uh, this one right here is a 1941 Chevy Coupe. It just looks like a spaceship for some strange reason. <laughs> It really does look like a spaceship. Now this beauty you're looking at right here kind of looks like one of the Impalas, but it's not. It's actually the 1959-1960 Chevy El Camino. Now El Camino, I think in Spanish means the way. So I guess this car is the way to go. I don't know, that was pretty corny. But as you can see, all the cars, all the different ones, they, they pretty much look the same as the ones in the front. So by now you should know what they are, you know? Uh, this one kind of looks like one of those Bel Airs, right? That one looks like an Impala, for sure, right? It probably is an Impala because it takes the same shape or whatnot. This one looks like a convertible. I'm not sure, I'm not really listing the names, but it looks like like one of those convertible, I'm not sure. That looks like an Impala for sure. That looks like an Impala for sure. Uh, this one, I'm not too sure. I should have probably looked that one up. If you guys know what these last cars are, just let me know. I guess I didn't really take the time to look them up, but I just thought they would mostly be Impalas, you know, or a Pontiac, who knows, right? Hmm, this one looks pretty different. I'm not sure what it is, but they don't look like Impalas, but yeah. Well, that one has a rat coom tail, yeah. Yeah, anybody know what these last cars are? The ones that I didn't post the name for? Let me know. What, do they have Michael Myers and Jason in the back of their car? I guess so. But these look pretty cool, man. I like the look.
girl, and I'm going a, I'm to a pick one and salute you, and I'm, I'm standing right here, and I show which the devil you can see, because it's a black. It's bad. And I just saw a red one, girl. I just saw the red one. But these cars are amazing. If anything, these cars are amazing. And this is where I conclude the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like the video, don't be afraid to share it. Leave a thumbs up. It really helps out the algorithm. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. And for those of you that truly enjoyed this video, you love the cars, and you would actually like to see the event and the different vendors that were there, you can check out part two of this video on my second channel. That is J Space Maxius. A link will also be in the description below. And I'll see you guys right over there or I'll see you on another video over here. Anyway, peace, peace. Stay safe.